taking a watermelon and we're going to scoop out some of the inside of the watermelon and then we're going to take some of that inside and we're going to strain it through a strainer to get the juice. We want the flavorings of the juice and the liquid from the watermelon. Next we're going to take 2.5 grams of calcium chloride and mix it in with 500 milliliters of water to make a calcium chloride solution. The calcium is going to be very important in some of the steps later on. Next we've gently boiled this watermelon juice to concentrate the flavors and we're now pouring the calcium chloride solution into a smaller shallower container. Next we have to use an immersion blender to thoroughly mix two grams of sodium alginate solution into the watermelon juice. Next we're going to use a syringe to drop some of that watermelon juice with the sodium alginate and then we're going to gently drop some of this solution into calcium chloride solution. And what happens is the sodium alginate reacts with the calcium chloride and the calcium chloride basically replaces the sodium and forms calcium alginate. And that calcium alginate is not dissolvable in water and so you get a sphere of that gel surrounding the flavors of the watermelon juice. So you have watermelon juice spheres. And here it is on some ice cream.